Hello, and welcome to Vavork. I'm Brian Watrous. This is the second in a nine-part video series in which we're exploring how to build a vRealize Orchestrator lab environment on top of VMware Fusion. In this video, I'm going to show you the various software components that we'll need and where to download them. As you can see in the list here, these are the various software components that we need. We're going to need VMware Fusion. We're going to need VMware ESXi. We're going to need the vCenter server virtual appliance, the vSphere client, actually that one's optional, um, but we'll show you how to get it anyways. And then last but certainly not least, we need the vRealize orchestrator appliance. So again, let's take a look at where to get these pieces of software. Okay, so in this demonstration I'll show you where to get the software. To get the software, fire up a web browser. So for instance, here I'm running Safari, and I'm going to go to the URL my.vmware.com. Then I'll log in. Let me change accounts here and type my password. And I'll log in. Now to get to the software that we need here, I'm going to start by clicking on the View and Download Products button. And then I will click on Products A to Z. And the software that we need is actually spread across a couple different sections here. But to start off with, I'm going to scroll down to VMware vSphere. And I'll click on View Download Components. And in here, uh, we can pick which version of vSphere we want. We want vSphere 6. And if we scroll down, you'll notice that we can see the different editions of vSphere, such as Essentials, Essentials Plus, Standard, Enterprise. I get to go ahead and go all the way down to Enterprise Plus. And the various pieces of software that we need are actually spread across several sections here. So to get the ESXi hypervisor, we'll go to this first section. To get the vCenter server virtual appliance, we'll go to the second section. And then down towards the bottom, uh, you can see the vRealize Orchestrator appliance, uh, specifically version 7.0.1. Currently, there's an older version, but we want the 7.0.1 version. So the third place we're going to go is here. All right, uh, to make this easy here, let me open up a different tab for each of those. So the first one for ESXi, the second one for vCenter and then this third one for the vCenter server virtual appliance. Now we're going to start off first with the ESXi software. So we go to that tab. At that tab, as you can see, let me scroll a little bit here. Uh, on that tab, as you can see, we have numerous different files that we could download, but what we want here is the ISO for ESXi. So as you can see, there's an ISO here. Are there any other ISOs? I think that's the only one. So that, in fact, is the one that we want, ESXi ISO image. And to download it, we can either click on Download Now or Download Manager. So click on one of those, download it, and store that file someplace. Remember where you stored it. Now, as you'll recall, back on the, this page here, the next section of software that we're going to go into is the vCenter server section. So let me go to that tab. And in here, again, we can select which version. And as we scroll down, you'll see that there are different versions of vCenter. Uh, there's the good old-fashioned Windows version of vCenter, which is not what we want. We want the appliance version, which you'll notice there's two instances of here. One is an ISO, the other is a .zip file. And conceivably, we could use either. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just grab this ISO. Actually, I've already done so, but to download it, I would once again click on either the Download Now or Download Manager tab. Uh, the third section, back to this main screen, the third section that we talked about briefly before was the vRealize Orchestrator Appliance section. Let me click on the tab where I went there. And as you can see, once again, we can pick which version. I'm going to go for version 7.0.1. And as you can see, there are several different files associated with Orchestrator. The one I'm looking for, uh, because it makes things nice and simple for me, is this OVA file. So that's the vCenter 
excuse me, the V Realize Orchestrator appliance in OVA format. Once again, click on either Download Now or Download Manager. Now, one little surprise that I uh, discovered here as I was setting out to record this video today is, uh, if I recall correctly, to get the vSphere client, which I mentioned before, I used to get that back on the vCenter page, but uh, for some reason it doesn't look like uh, we VMware have the vSphere client available currently that way. So let me go about getting to the vSphere client a little differently. To get to the vSphere client installer file, I'm going to again go a different way than I usually would. Uh, I'm going to open up another browser window. And if I go to VMware's knowledge base, kb.vmware.com slash kb slash 2089791, that KB article details where you can go to to get all sorts of different versions of the vSphere client. So the one I'm going to download actually I already have downloaded, but the one that you're going to download is presumably this uh, latest, greatest one, the VMware vSphere Client 6.0 Update 1. So again, those are the different pieces of software. Uh, uh, actually, there's one more piece of software I almost forgot. Uh, you need VMware Fusion. Uh, presumably you already have that, but uh, if you don't have VMware Fusion, again, if you go to my.vmware.com, and go to, once again, view and download products. You can go to products A through Z, although I notice here that uh, Fusion is actually showing up uh, already on this page, or you could go products A to Z, but uh, download the latest, greatest version of Fusion. Uh, you'll notice that there are versions of Fusion called Fusion and other versions called uh, the Pro version. For our purposes here for uh, building the VRO lab environment that we're building. Uh, it doesn't actually matter whether you use the pro version or the non-pro version. I happen to be using the pro version, but in, uh, in theory, the, the non-pro version should work equally well for our purposes. Okay, so those are the different pieces of software that you need. That's where you go to download them. So go ahead and download those different pieces of software, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, checking my list here, what's coming up next? What's coming up next is I'm going to show you how to set up a DNS server for our VRO lab environment. For me, that's real important because, again, it uh, seems like all the time I'm on airplane flying someplace and I can't contact just any old DNS server. I need to bring one with me. So I'm going to show you how I did that under my MacBook Pro in the next video. So see you there.